Hello to everyone. My name is Olaf Zipser. I'm a free flyer. I travel the world and I inspire all mankind to have a love for the sky and to learn of how to fly as a human being. We are a biomechanical flex wing. We're the most advanced aircraft with an integrated pilot. We can fly backwards, sideways, this way, that way and have control in three different axes. It's a wonderful thing. I invite everyone to maybe one day try to fly the sky. I have a future project and it's called the Free Fly Astronaut Project. With this project we want to develop a rescue vehicle possibility for future space travelers. For example, there's a ISS in the moment, International Space Station is already up there and sooner or later we will have private space hotels, private space travel. All those people need a possibility to have a second chance just in case something goes wrong. There could be meteor showers, there could be some problem with the spaceship, there could be a sun flare, someone could get an appendix infection. Anything possible happen while future people, thousands of them, will go to space. We want to give them a second chance by developing a spacesuit and the techniques in conjunction with this for them to be able to come back to Earth as a free fly astronaut with their little spaceship, with their micro spaceship. Today I'm here at the ranch in South Africa and I'm very happy to uh, see all those beautiful people here in South Africa and thank you for inviting me for making a little speech about this and uh, giving me another chance to educate and uh, inspire people for human flight. Um, we are here to particularly uh, save the rhinos. We are skydiving for rhinos. We are inviting everyone to learn to fly with us, do a tandem with us, uh, learn of how to free fly or just listen to the beautiful people who are crazy enough to do all this stuff today. Uh, all the money which we are collecting here is not going to our pocket to have another Porsche which we don't have in the first place. All the money goes for the rhinos. We are envision that the rhinos will be um, they are in danger. Too many people are poaching them and um, we want to have more protection for them. So we're doing our best to have people donate a little bit of money so the rhinos can be protected by the rangers and education can be put out in such a way that people understand that it's really, really dumb to cut the horn of a rhino, to put it in your soup. What the hell is that? Please don't do that, you know. Uh, help us. Help us to make the last dinosaurs live on Earth for much longer so our kids can enjoy them also. Tell me another question. Inspire me. What is it like to fall from as high as you guys usually okay. fall with your free falls? Okay. Um, in 1995 I already started my free fly astronaut project. Uh, at that time, uh, little rockets uh, were not available and uh, balloons are very, very expensive. Um, we went to Russia and uh, rented one of the cosmonaut trainer. It's called Illusion 76. It's as big as a normal aircraft uh, airliner you see. It has like four jets and it was able to fly up into the stratosphere. So we rented this plane with two people and we kind of shot like a, like, a, like a dolphin out of the water. We shot out of the troposphere into the stratosphere and we jumped out of it and that was at 47,000 feet. It was extremely cold up there, it was like minus 70 Celsius. And on the way down we reached speeds to 750 kilometers per hour. It was extremely fast. But one thing I can tell you guys, it is beautiful up there. We saw the curvature of the earth, we saw an area where there's 70 percent less air molecules around, that means it's 70 percent clearer. It's like you put glasses on and you can see the world in new eyes. It's a fantastic, inspiring uh, situation which I still feel and get shivers when I talk about it. All this and uh, many other adventures um, are inspiring me to go and do that again. That's why we do have uh, the new project, the Free Fly Astronaut Project. As now, since a couple of years in the US, laws have been changed and rockets can be built by private companies and they are not necessarily rated anymore as weapons. Uh, they are becoming uh, research tools and experimental ways of how to bring uh, private people, private industry into space. There's a lot to be learned up there. 
as uh, we can form different crystals, we can grow different plants, we can uh, probably and def definitely we will find many, many more useful things um, in space which we are still developing and researching for. And uh, as imagination grows and experience will be uh, collected, uh, um, we will find so many more spin-offs of uh, what now seems to be uh, a crazy thing to do. Who wants to go to space? Well, I do. I have that imagination and um, I believe in that uh, possibility uh, that one imagination plus another imagination and another imagination creates more imagination. And um, as we are human beings and we're looking for the boundary of possibilities, uh, we are searching for what has not been seen yet and we are want to put it down on paper and uh, use all that experience to create future materials, future food, future medication, future opportunities for mankind to survive once uh, this planet runs out of the resources. Or uh, what for sure will happen very soon, we will have so many people on this planet that some of them will be crazy enough to go and play another Christoph Columbus and want to go somewhere and maybe never come back and have human race um, discovering and conquering all the solar system and beyond.